it going? How are you doing? Are you ready for this? I bet you're like, what we're going to do today, Lise? Well, if you haven't done the other workouts, there's quite a few of these. I think there's about five in total. Today, we're going to do shoulders and triceps. Now, shoulders are the ones that give you this beautiful shape here, which is this muscle right here. Shoulders are the key to everything. They are the key to when we're doing clean and presses. They are the key to when we want to lift something, when you're holding things on a daily basis. However, they are also one of the most common areas that people get injuries on. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna go through a couple of exercises that we would normally do if we were in the advanced uh, program or if you were doing one of the other workouts. We're gonna go through the same moves. We're gonna, we're gonna learn proper technique. We're gonna learn the fundamentals of what you should be doing, why you should be doing it, how you should be doing it. So you feel a little bit more confident moving forward. I've been here, teresa has been here, we all started here. So you have to almost learn from the bottom before you can move up. Now, shoulders and triceps are also very tiny muscles. They're not very big muscles, not like your legs. So you can't really go super heavy. So you think to yourself, oh, that's not gonna do anything. But two and a half kilos will be enough for some of these moves if you're just starting out. Maybe you might get up to like four kilos, or maybe if you're really strong, you might even be able to push to five. But generally, two and a half is where you're gonna be at today. And that's okay, don't worry about it. But it's all, it's all about starting, it's all about just learning, and it's all about having a base. So anything that you're using today, make sure you pop in the notes below. So then next time you come to this, or if you're gonna do this again, you can either add a jump, or up your weights so you're always moving forward. That's what we always say. You're always gonna do things that are gonna take you 1% forward or 2% forward. Don't ever do things that are gonna take you backwards, okay? So, and it's easy to forget. Like it, when you come back to this, you'll be like, what did I use last time? It's so easy. Just So just pop the um, weights below, your reps below, what you did below, how you felt below, all of those good things. Okay, so shoulders. We're gonna add a bit of cardio in because again, like with the other videos, if you haven't done them yet, the reason we add a little bit of cardio in is to get your heart rate up. And once your heart rate's up, it kicks your metabolism in. And your metabolism is that thing that's gonna really make you burn fat, build muscle, and get all those endorphins, which is that happy hormone, really, really pumping through your body, which is what we want. We want you to leave this workout feeling accomplished, feeling like you've achieved something, and feeling like you've really got a good base to move forward. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna do what's called a pogo. Now, it's almost like a little lunge. If you don't know how to lunge, don't worry. You're just gonna step back with one foot and then drive the knee forward, just like that. So you almost like hop on one leg. I know you're like, why do you keep making us do these moves like this and this? It's because even though you don't realize it, these moves where you're standing on one leg are super important for your stability. All these little muscles and all these little fibers and all these little tendons that protect our joints are all getting worked when we're balancing. So that's why we add in quite a lot of single leg, single arm movements. So then you're getting the same amount of work on each leg and each leg is building all of those really important fibers that are gonna make you healthy and strong and get you to where you need to be without any injuries, which is what we want, okay? So the pogo looks like this. You're gonna stand and you're gonna hop up. If that's too much for you, you can add just a powerful knee drive, okay? I like to think about grabbing somebody's head and smashing it in your knee, but that's, you pick your own thing. So you're gonna add a knee drive. If you wanna just add a little hop onto that, you absolutely can, Jane Fonda it. It's fine, do whatever you need to do. So our pogo is first, and then we're gonna go into our shoulders and our triceps, and then you get to do it all over again. So there are eight moves, 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest, and that's all I need to tell you really. Are you ready to roll? I've got my timer set. We start with that pogo. Go nice and slow to star. No rush, no hurry. Just do the best you can. Are you ready? Eight seconds. Ooh, pick a leg to balance on. You're gonna be stronger one side than you are the other. Don't worry about it, it's just how it is. So you can start with that head smash. You know how it is? If you wanna just add a little hop, you absolutely can. If you want to add that pogo, come up, drive up. So you stop, hammer time. No, you don't do that, you stop, you jump. So you're almost really putting a lot of your weight on this leg. So this leg is doing all the work, up, down. Now you breathe, powerful, go. Good, really good. 17, make sure that knee is wobbling backwards and forwards. Keep it nice and stable. You don't have to jump too high either. 
10, 9, 7, 4, 3, 2, march it out. Really good job. So the next thing we're going to do is flies, which is what our shoulders. So grab your weights, slight bend in the elbow, shoulders are back, chest is proud, and you are going to just lift your, your arms out to the side and then bring them back down. Breathe in, bring it back down. Now, I'm not going higher than my shoulders. My elbows have a bend in it, and very importantly, watch my wrists. They're not doing this, which I see all the time. They're straight all the way down. If it's too much to do two, do single arms, just like this. Now, if you need to, you can what we call split stands, which is where you just split your, split your stance. It's hard to say. So it just gives you a bit more stability, but you keep that chest nice and tall, pause at the top, take it down. Pause at the top, six seconds, smash it. Pause at the top, then we go into that other pogo on the other leg, good. Bend down, pop them down. So whichever one you went with last time, try and do the same again. Two, one, let's go. Up, down, down, drive up, good. Good, really good. See, I'm breathing. Good. You're doing ever so well, keep going. Again, if you need to, you can take out the jump, but try not to. You've got 20 seconds, you can do anything for 20 seconds. It's all in the mind. Get up, let's go. Good, really good. 12, if this leg is starting to hurt a little bit, good, because that, <laughs> that's what it should be doing. <laughs> it's got all your body weight on it. Three, two, last one, march it out. Really good. This time, I'm gonna shoulder press. Now, depending on how your joints are, you've got different options for this. Pick up your weights. We can start with this one, where you just come up, hold, Bring it back down to your elbows. Again, split that stance to give you more stability. If that's uncomfortable for you on your elbows, which sometimes I do find that, you can do it this way, where you come down to your shoulders and you push up. Again, not locking out the elbows, keeping that nice bent elbow when you just push in. Imagine you're trying to push something away from your body. Push it away from your body, so really drive up and away from your body, not forward here, not straight back here, foot push away. Good. So whichever one you've picked, maybe it's this one, you don't lock out the elbows, you just come all the way down, all the way up. Good. You're smashing it. Whew. So this time we're going to do kicks. You can add a hop if you wish, or you can just do it without. So, without looks like this, join me. With things to remember, heels touch the floor all the time. Heels touch the floor all the time. Knees are soft. And we breathe. Hands can stay on the hips if they have to. Hands can come up front to make it harder. Hands can come over the head. If you want to, pick your option. It's your workout your way. Taking it down, just like this. Pick your option. Five, four, three, two, one. Really good. Now, work in the front of the elbow because you, most of your muscles in your body, your legs, everywhere, it's not just one muscle. It's lots of muscles incorporated into one thing. So now we're gonna come the front and raise it up. You can do, hold one weight or you can hold two weights. You're gonna bring it up and then you're gonna take it back down. Now, again, let's look at our body. Split the stance if you need to. Slight bend in the elbows, we're not locking them out. We keep that bend. You feel that shoulder at the front lift and bring it down. Stop it in line with the shoulders. Chest is proud and you breathe. If you're doing it with a single weight, this is how it looks. Same move, it's just a little bit easier. Take it down, got it? 
If you're doing double and it gets too much for you, just single. One arm, take it down. The other arm, take it down. Making sure that you're not coming up, you're not swinging the body like this. It's controlled movements. Good. Really, really good. High knees is next. So if you don't want to do high knees, you're gonna do a fast march. You can do a jog on the spot if you wanna do a jog on the spot. Or you can lift those knees up and do a high knee. Now, bum stays under. Abs, really pull them in. If you tuck your bum under, it'll automatically sit you back and then just concentrate on those knees coming up. If it's too much for you, take it down to a jog and just jog it out. Your hands will help. You don't have to go dead fast. Just jog it out and enjoy it. You're less than 20 to go. Really good. Seven, six, fives, fours, threes, twos, ones. March it out. Get a nice big breath. You're doing really, really well. Now, got hamstring, uh, got triceps. Very small muscle on the back of the arm. You can do this two ways. You can bend forward, sticking your bum back, pulling those shoulders back, lifting those elbows up above the body, and you're just gonna push back, bring it back into the L shape, push back, bring it back into the L shape. These are called kickbacks, because you're kicking back. Bring it in, if it's too much, stand down, stand up, kick back, stand up, kick back, got it? If you want to change that, you can hold the weight like this, elbows stay in, you just bend at the elbow, push up, Ooh, feel that then, my old body creaking, down, push up, down, push up, so there are two variations that you can do for this next round that's coming up after this. Pick which one suits you, pick, pick which one you want to try. It's entirely up to you. So, we have got pogos to start again. That's definitely not right, because it only says I've got three rounds. Are you ready to go? Grab a drink if you need to. We're going to start again. So, if you want to do over the head on the next round, you absolutely can. If, if you want to stay with those kickbacks, if you felt it in your triceps, that I would stay with them. They're probably the ones that are going to hit your triceps a little bit more. But if it's just uncomfortable for you, then your alternative is right there. That's it. Let's do it. Pogos. Six, five, fours, threes, two. Let's go. Up you go. Now this time, get some power into each move. You know what you're doing now. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing scary is going to come at you. I'm not going to change any of the moves. You know exactly what you're doing. So you know if you're gonna take the jumps out, if you're gonna add the jumps in this time. Really good. You're doing amazing. Come on, push. 25. How does this leg feel? Is it tired? That's good if it is, because that means we're putting pressure on the muscles, which is only gonna make them tone up, lose weight, Build muscle, all of those good things that we're looking for. 10 seconds. Three, two, march it out. Do you remember what's next? Those flies. Can you go a bit harder? Can you go a bit heavier? Instead of doing singles, can you do doubles? Let's go. Split your stance if you need to. Up, down, chest is proud. Slight bend in the elbow. Up, pause, down. Up, pause, down. Really good job. Good, really good. Keep going. If, you, if your shoulders are getting a little bit tired, good. That's what we're working. If you were telling me your back was sore, I'd be like, oh, got a problem here. We're not working that. 16 seconds. You've got 15 seconds. Let's go. Are you breathing? Are you abs in? Is your chest tall? Check your form. Form over everything. Four, three, two. Drop them down. Bend the knees every time. Pogo on the other side. How are you feeling? You, you should feel a bit warm. You should start to sweat a little bit. Because these big muscles here are going to burn lots of fat. 
Good. Let's go. You're doing awesome, by the way. Really good. Good job. Come on. 25. Nothing. You've got this. Good job. Come on, push. Don't quit now. You're nearly there. 13 seconds, 10 seconds. Three, two, you made it. Well done, you haven't got to do them again unless you decide to do it again. So, our press is next. Which one did you like? Which one did you enjoy last time? Maybe you just want to switch it up this time and do a different one. So I'm going to start with my shoulders, with my weights on my shoulders this time, bending the knees, tucking the bum under, press up. Got to make sure that your bottom of your body is prepared for the top of the body, which means you lock your feet in the floor, your elbow, your knees are slightly bent, your bum is squeezed under, and you push up. Don't lock out those elbows. Think about it. Push up. Now, if you're doing this properly and you're holding the weights properly, when you press at the top, you should be able to give me a wiggle of those fingers. That tells me that you're holding the weights in your hands in the right position. Good. Push up. Really good. Seven, six. Two. Last one, we've got those kicks. Jane Fonda in the building. So, which one are you doing? Are you just kicking and squatting? Maybe you want to squat down to make it more intense. Or you're going to add that kick. Are your hands on your waist? It's entirely up to you. You pick it. Are your hands coming in front like this? That's fine. The hardest one is to add those jack hands. Are your heels on the floor? Are your knees soft? Is your bum squeezed? Are your abs in? Are you breathing? More importantly, are you having a good time? That's the most important thing. Working out should not be a chore. It should be fun and a little bit horrible, but achievable. 10 seconds. Three, start to bring it down. Two. Last one, march it out, let your heart rate come down. Remember what we're doing next, front raises. One weight or two weights, double or single. Shoulders are back, get your form. Split stance if we need it, up you come, hold it. Now, elbows, do you have a slight bend in them? Are you coming up to your shoulders? Take it down, are you pausing? At the top, down, down, good. Down, really good, let's go. Down, down, awesome job, let's go. 18, keep breathing, you're doing amazing, 10 seconds, really good, high knees are next. Five seconds, come on, four seconds. If your shoulders are starting to feel it, that's good. Two, last one, good job. High knees, or a little jog, depending on what your level is. Or a dance, if you wanna dance, you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you, it's your workout. If you wanna do this, then do that. If you wanna shake it on down, then you shake it on down. You do whatever you need to do to get through this 50 seconds and get your heart rate up there. Bum is under, abs are in, shoulders are back, chest is high. Big breaths, filling the lungs, driving those legs up. Run down that track. 20 seconds. You're doing amazing, I'm so proud of you. You've nearly done. We've got triceps to finish. Which one are you gonna do? Are you gonna kick it back? Or are you gonna go over your head? Which one? Oh, so many options. It's like a last one. So exciting. So, which one are you going to do? Kickbacks? Are you going to kick? All you're going to do is bend at the elbow and kick back, or over your head, lift up, take it down. I'm going to do kickbacks because they are 
probably a little bit better for targeting my triceps. So all you do is bend, straighten, bend, straighten, squeeze at the top, squeeze your abs are in, keep that head looking down, 33, really good, you're doing amazing, let's go, 24, 21, we're nearly there, again if you need to, single arms is always there for you, or a stand, drop, take it out, stand, drop, take it out, while you get used to being in this position, if it's a new position for you, you're going to feel it in places you've never felt it before, last one, you're done, oh my gosh, how did it feel, your heart rate should be up there, you should feel like your endorphins are going around your body a little bit, uh, let's stretch out those triceps, so hand goes up, Take it across to your opposite shoulder without touching the joint. Go onto your fleshy bit of your tricep and just pull over and just relax that arm and give it a second to stretch it out. Lovely. Get some big breaths. If you want to walk it off and just keep walking, let your heart rate come down, that's okay. If you've got more in you, maybe you want to do that again. Go for it. Or could do one of the other videos. Ooh, so many options. Release, shoulder roll, take your hands around to the back, clasp the fingers, pull those shoulders back and lift up. Be nice and proud through the chest, you look amazing. We achieved something today, we've moved our body. You smash your workout, make sure you pop in the comments below what you used, how you did, and I will see you on the next one.